Hi everyone. So today we will see how we can access Salesforce resources using REST API. So we will use a Postman to make uh, um, to make a query in Salesforce. So we will uh, we will uh, try to access we will try to access a contact. Sorry, access a case. Then uh, create the case. Update the case, then we will attach an attachment to the case. Okay, so we will take an example. Uh, we'll take your example. So let's go. Let's go over my. So first we will. So we are using a uh, user password flow. So using this uh, first step, we will be you know accessing the access tokens. Once the access access talk, once we retrieve the access access token from the Salesforce, then we will make the request. Okay. So this go to Postman. So first, I will make a collection. Actually, collection is not necessary, but not a request. That is 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 this that is that is that is that is that is that is in the header, uh, sorry, as a param, I will be using these parameters. Click on send. So I have got. Access token for that. So I think for that. So let me update it a little So we will be able to use this token. This access token. Once I have got the access token and then instance URL is this. Okay, this one. Now I will create a case. Uh, okay, let me just retry case info. So I will click on the request. Is this will be my transfer which I got while getting access token data version is fifty and case that's fine and in the header or we can add as a parent or as a header but I will prefer header because this way it's secure because when you pass the parameter so the actually it will be visible in the parameter uh, in the URL parameter will be visible in the URL but when you pass it in the header so these are not actually in the URL Okay, so I have added this URL for transition. Sorry, I have added this transition variable in the header and uh, it's a get request. That's why I am using this. Uh, let's see. 
requested resource doesn't exist. Okay. Uh, I will have to pass the ID as well. Okay, so services data we put to here in the case okay let me yeah I think there was some issue in the URL. Okay, now you have retried your case okay, with all the queries. Okay, so you have retried the case. Now we will update the case. Okay, so we will add a new request. Request name will be update. Okay. When we are updating, so it will be a patch request. And URL will be with the ID. So this is the URL. The header. I will be adding this authorization. So I will pick. Oh, I have not passed the body. So I will pass priority edge I the body. So for the body I will select row then JSON then I will but let before we update this let first its priority. So the case is priority of low. Okay. Now once I update this and click on send. Okay, so there is no errors. So let me just refresh this. So priority has been updated to five. Now take a case, another case. Now we will try to create a case. Add request. Create a case. Okay, so this time we will be moving this in the body. We will be passing uh, in the body. We will passing param uh, full name with values. Draw then JSON. This one and URL will be this. It's you know in times URL then slash services slash data then this is the version then slash as object then slash case. Okay. So in the header we have not passed that authorization. Click on bulk edit. Let me pass this authorization error. Now I have passed the body as well. Let me click on send. So we have created a case and the document. Okay. So let's set that case that we have created with the priority as well. So let us case we have 1036. Let me refresh it whether we have any case or not. Oh, we have not yet created any case. What is the issue? Oh, we have get so I will make it as post and it is created. Okay, now it's success and we have got the idea as well of that case. Now we will 
see if that this is great, created with a bad dildo. Okay, so it's just created. You can see last modified and created it. Yeah, so we have just created it. Okay, now another case. Now we will add an attachment to the case. Okay, so adding attachment to the case. So this is the request name. Now we will be adding authorization. Okay, and the body select raw, select JSON, and select body as. So this is the body as we have specified. In the body as specified is indeed. The current ID will be the case ID under which we will be attaching this case. Name will be test1. And it will be a post request since we are attaching the case. And this will be the user. So it's instance URL slash services slash data slash v50.0 that is the versioning then slash as object and slash attachment object because we are inserting it in that's why it's attachment object. Okay, now click on send entity is deleted. Oh, I think we have deleted that case, that's why. Okay, let me take this. But let me refresh this to see if there is any attachment already attached to this. Okay, no attachment to this case. So we'll be adding this one. Okay, now we will click on send. Okay, now we have created a new attachment and we have got the attachment ID. But let me refresh it to see if any attachment is added to this case. So you can see the attachment has been added. Okay. Okay, thank you very much.